So I, I, I came up with this analogy last night. This is you? I came up with this, yeah. Oh. And I think it's because I'm in DC and I'm just surrounded by pillars everywhere and architecture and like I'm very artistic to begin with. So I'm just like, but um, so here we go. Here's okay. my analogy for this glow up process or this uh, finding of yourself. Again. Okay. So pretend that you're a building okay. and you have all these different pillars that are keeping you stable and strong, yeah. right? Yes. And these different pillars represent different parts of your personality, your morals, your values, your hobbies, your career, your relationship with friends, family, romantic relationship. And I think when you go through a breakup, this connection that you had with this person is now gone and you are forced to look inward and you're forced to look at this connection to yourself and you're forced to examine each of these pillars Hmm. and some of these pillars might stand really strong for you and that is a place where you remain secure in who you are you know so for example if like my career path I'm Mm -hmm. teaching I know that's what I'm supposed to be doing I feel very secure in that that's not something that I'm navigating. Should I be doing this? Should I not be doing this? Like that's something I can kind of rely on. And I think what's very complex is like when you're going through this breakup, this romantic relationship, this pillar, the foundation is now there's a crack Mm. and this pillar is unraveling. And as this one pillar is falling, it feels like everything is sinking in. Mm -hmm. because the building is no longer balanced. There's this one part that is falling, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think you have two choices here. So the first Mm -hmm. option is you see that this pillar is falling in, right? And you can kind of just like quickly fix it up and keep things the way that it was, Mm -hmm. you know? Not change it, not examine it in any way, just kind of build it back up by... Either romantically, if that's replacing it with somebody else, or if it's another pillar that's falling as a result, like your morals or values, you know, keeping with those, because it's just, it's going to be easier to keep it the same. Yeah. And this way, for now, things look strong. Yeah. Things appear like everything's back in place, right? Mm -hmm. So you make Mm -hmm. like, not much is changing. Yeah. Whereas if you allow the pillar to keep falling you get to this point right before you hit rock bottom (laughs) Mm -hmm. where these tools start coming in Mm -hmm. and you can start to rebuild the pillar and the pillar is going to look a lot different and it's going to take a lot more time and a lot more work to get it back to where it was. Mm -hmm. But the result is that pillar is going to be a lot stronger. Allie, that's good. First of all, I don't know if I explained it well, but I just came up with it last night. So. I think you explained it very well. I love that you're in DC. I love that the pillar analogy exists. This was meant to be, my sister. Thank you for sharing that with us.